My job title is Strategic Projects Administrator, and what I do is I help the company to make sure that we work on the highest priority projects first, and I work them in priority order, and also, since we have a limited resource pool, I make sure that we have the re user resources at the right time. And a good way to describe that is if you think about a horizontal timeline, and a project typically has a start and an end date, and in the middle you'd move a project from the idea of just moving it from an initiative and then it becomes a concept, then at some point you're actually going to go build it and then you'll close it out. If you take all the strategic projects and you stack them on top of each other, my job is to look at them vertically and make sure that as the resources become available, we start the right one at the right time. Sunflower, of course, I'm kind of a new employee, so I'm a little bit in the honeymoon stage yet, but it's a great place to work. Um, we have, we're in a, the perfect industry, it's a very stable industry, it's not something that's going to go away. People are going to need electricity. So it's, it's nice to be in a stable industry, but also it's the right size, I believe, because it's not a huge company. It's small enough that you get to know people and build relationships, but yet it's large enough that it's something that's not going to go away. It's a very stable place to be. Um, Sunflower has a really rich benefit package, and my favorite part is the amount of money that I get to keep. A lot of times when you look at jobs, they'll give you what your salary is, and then they start deducting for all your benefits. And at Sunflower, the amount we pay for our insurance premiums is about one-fifth of what I'm used to pay. And then when I actually do go to a doctor, the amount that I pay there is so much less than my, all of my previous employers. And at the same time, because we have a defined benefit package where we receive a pension at some point, that means less of my paycheck is being deducted to go through a 401k type system. And at the same time, I get to contribute to a 401k if I like, but my actual salary, more of it actually goes home with me into my bank account. If you look at my resume, which obviously you don't have in front of you, I have what they call career deficit disorder. I've done several different things at different places, but the great thing about this current position is, is it draws on all the skills in my toolbox that I've built at all these different locations, and I pretty much have to use all these different skills that I've learned to accomplish my job now. And so it's just a great way to bring all those different things that I've learned together. My favorite part of my job currently is just the amount of challenge that I have every day when I show up. It's never, each day is different, it's not always the same thing. While there is kind of a framework that I work off of, one day I might show up and start working on a transmission project, the next day we're going to be talking about generation, and then later we might be talking about some corporate software that we need to put in place. And a lot of what I do is help with taking the idea and connecting where we want it to be and putting the nuts and bolts together in the middle. And that's just challenging and it's and it's nice to show up and do something different and not the repeated same thing mundane every single day. Something that they wouldn't know would, for my job is the amount of time that I get to spend out of my office working with other people. A great percentage of my time is interacting with others, whether it's helping them get ready for a presentation that they're going to do to the executives or just working with them on project management or how to use a software package or something. But one thing that people probably don't know about my job is just the amount of time that I'm not just sitting in front of a computer, I'm actually out working with people. For that, I would say don't have paralysis by way of analysis. If you have something that you need to accomplish, just go ahead and jump in and not wait until it's completely perfectly defined before you start it. A lot of the transformational and learning opportunities happen in the middle of starting a project and helping to define it with others to kind of work towards a common goal. If you waited until it was all perfectly set up before you started, well, you'd never get it started. So I would say jump in and get started working on it and you can continue to learn and continue to refine things throughout the process. I think the best part about Sunflower working here is the people. Um, a lot of, you know, I'm a new employee in a new position and it would be very easy for people to maybe discount that, but I've noticed that here at Sunflower, it's kind of like a family and people will go out of their, they'll do things that are uncomfortable for them in order to help me succeed. And that's something that you don't find, at least in some of my previous employments, that you might not find every day. So it's great to have that support behind you.